All right, I'm going to be rocking another probability problem. So let's see. 56% of all American workers have a workplace retirement plan. 68% of health insurance and 49 have both. We're going to select a worker at random and we want to find the probabilities of blah, blah, blah. We're going to start out first making a Venn diagram. Again, why do I do this? I like to have it visually for myself. Some people, they don't necessarily need this. They can just internalize the whole thing. That's you, all power to you. I need this. So I'm gonna make my little circles here. Copy and paste, right? Copy, paste, all right. Let's zoom in here. So I'm more focused on retirement plan and health insurance. Now let's see what they tell me. They tell me both. Whenever I am given both, I always that's always the first thing I go with. I'm going to fill that in here, 49. So I'm going to go with 49. All right. So now they know both. They tell me 56% of American workers have a retirement plan. Now, remember, when they tell you that, there's no only involved in here. They're not saying that they only have a retirement plan. They can have health insurance. So I'm going to take away that 49, which gives me 7. Why am I doing this? Now, this gives me that 56% that do have a uh, retirement plan. It includes those who also have health insurance. Likewise, they tell me that 68 have health insurance. That includes both, because it doesn't say anything about them only having health insurance. So I'm going to take away the 49, and that leaves me with 19 if I've done my math correctly. If I haven't, let me know. Now, what I like to do, I want to figure out what's going to go on the outside here. So. I've, I know I should get all this adding up to 100. I'm going to take away the 7, the 49, and the 19, everything in my circles, which gives me, let's see, 60, I think it's 25. Hopefully that checks out. If it's wrong, let me know. I'm actually going to plug it in. 100 minus 7 minus 49 minus 19 equals 25. So it tells me that 25% of those within this sample don't have health insurance or retirement. So now they filled in the Venn diagram, I can work with this a little bit. So first question has either employee sponsored health insurance or retirement plan. So it says either, and it could be or this or this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include everything in these circles. That represents the retirement plan and the health insurance. So that would mean if I add up everything here, I'm going to get 75. He has health insurance if he has a retirement plan. So in that case, that if, that's my given. So that means given he has a retirement plan. The probability he has health insurance given he has a retirement plan. So those who have a retirement plan is going to be 56. Out of that 56%, how many of them have health insurance? Again, so I'm looking at the 56 year of retirement, 49 right there, have health insurance. So that's going to be my given. All right. Now it's asking me if having health insurance and a retirement plan are the independent events, explain. Here's what I can do. There are a lot of ways you can go about doing this. I'm going to show you several different ways you can prove independence. One way, a lot of people like this. If they're independent events and the probability of one times the probability of the other should give me the probability of both. So probability of having retirement is 56. Probability of having health insurance is 68. If I multiply these, 0. 0.68 times 0. 0.56, I get about 38%, 0.3808. If these are independent events, I'm going to be finding this number right at my intersection. Am I, though? Nope, I'm getting 49. So immediately, I can say they aren't independent. That's one way I can prove this. Another way. Let's look at the probability of having health insurance. Probability of having health insurance? 68. Again, when they're asking about the probability of having health insurance, you can't have both. They're, they're not saying only. They're saying probability of having health insurance. Now, let's see the probability of having health insurance given that I have a retirement plan. 
So I'm looking within a specific subgroup to see if I'm getting the same proportion. So I'm looking at those with the retirement plan, which is 56. And then those who have health insurance, it's going to be 49. Let's divide that out. 49 divided by 56. Ooh. I do not get 0.68. As a matter of fact, I get 0.875, which tells me they aren't independent. If they were independent, I would be getting the same probability. Now, what does that ultimately mean? Well, it's telling me that if I have a retirement plan, I'm more likely to have health insurance as opposed to just randomly selecting an American worker and seeing if they have health insurance. That's what independence essentially means. Is your probability going to be the same once you ask your whole group as opposed to a subgroup? Are you getting the same probability? In this case, we didn't. We got 0.68, we got 0.875, so they are not independent events. Hopefully this helps you out a little bit with independence, Venn diagrams. If you have any questions, you know you can always reach out to me.